Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster Alpha 3. Still working on our Middle Earth themed park. Today we're continuing on and mostly finishing Mordor. Just some little finishing touches to do around the place. And actually I'm realizing right now a couple things I forgot to do that I totally meant to do with some lighting in the coaster tunnels. And then the fire coming out of the top of Mount Doom. I always do that. As soon as I start a video I'm like, oh I forgot to do this. I don't know why. I don't know, I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm a little busy, so please forgive me. Uh, the first thing we're going to work on is the uh, Eye of Sauron Tower. That is going to be right over here, tucked in the corner inside of Mordor. This guy, it, this is a classic sea top, as I like to call it, because it looks terrible, the majority of the building process, but the end result comes out pretty freaking sweet. And I'm pretty proud of it. Again, not 100% movie accurate. It's just... It's, it, it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Basically, we're just trying to do the best we can with what we got, and and, and still trying to make it stylized and decent looking. And so I knew I wanted to start with a wider base and a narrower waist. No, I guess it's like the waist. Oh, everyone likes a wide base and a narrow waist, and then a wider top bust. I guess. Jeez. Oh God. No, but th yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, the top doesn't come out nearly as much as I liked. It's a little difficult because you can, it's, it's going to be too extreme because you basically have to do an entire new piece sticking out. Basically one of the grid pieces, so. Uh, you'll, you'll see how we do it then. Again, it comes up pretty good looking. This is something I was pretty proud of. Check this out. So we take all these little wooden planks and we make these cool little designs with them. So we take the whole thing, copy and paste it, take the rest of it. And then we have these cool little spike designs coming out that are very reminiscent of these uh, Mordor buildings. Like, eh, I don't know. I don't know what to call them. I just think they're a cool little design interest. Again, I don't know all these architecture terms. I'm basically just looking at the pictures and saying, hey, let's try and do something similar to that with the pieces we got in Planet Coaster. Now, again, these parts are always hard for me to talk about because I don't really know any technical terms or anything. I'm just kind of building. There we go. So now we have the wider base looking a little bit better now. And then, unfortunately, we kept using these wood pieces and up close they don't look great. Because, I mean, nothing in this game is super deep black. Like, some things are. Uh, like, the plastic walls are actually a real deep black. But I really didn't like the texture they had. I think you saw me at the beginning playing with them. This definitely looks more gray. But at a distance or even, like, at night, it looks really cool. It does look really nice and black, so... I think we'll let it go. It, it comes out pretty pretty swell looking. In my humble opinion. I should not drink cran raspberry juice when I'm recording these. It's very delicious, but it does make my uh it makes my mouth feel funny. <laughs> it's not like as as like refreshing as drinking water. It's a l it's a little bit too bitter and tarty. Tarty, is that a word? It is now. And I really like these those curved pieces of cheese up there. They have a little bit too much white on them. Uh, I changed all the colors to black as much as I could, but hey, I, I still think they're cool looking. And so we just take the whole thing and we copy and paste it all the way around. I'm just checking down from the ground view to see how it looks, because that's what's important, right? What the guests see. Gotta make sure things are looking good for them. And then figure out the top piece here. I'm trying to flatten that out. And then we have these curved pieces here. I was like, oh great, what are we gonna do here? Because we can't ever really fill in any pieces there. But we, we get it worked out later. And over here... Okay, so we start on the curved pieces that are actually going to hold the Eye of Sauron. And so basically just taking these guys, going to move them a whole bunch. And then just kind of match the curve that I took from the pictures from the movie stills. And I actually think this comes out pretty cool. Because well, we select the whole thing, copy and paste it. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool looking, isn't it? Let's make it a little bit taller. Let's extend it up a wee bit. And I brought an extra, like, you see I copy and pasted it over there, just so I have it to reference in case I mess this up or something, I can just bring it back over from there. It's always good to have a backup plan. And then I add some more design elements over here. Have some more of these spiky dudes sticking out. Make them all nice and pretty looking. And then having this hold them up. Again, nothing directly taken from the movies, but just things I thought would look pretty cool. Kind of, um, just basically trying to make an evil looking castle design. That's the whole idea. <laughs> That's basically what it is, right? It's a big evil castle looking thing. Uh, soon we get to the actual fire effects and those... Mm, they come out okay. Again, super limited with the 
the pieces in the park, but it's it's a very basic design, so you kind of have to use your imagination. You go, oh, that's what the, that's the Eye of Sauron. That's that's cool. That looks right. <laughs> well, it doesn't look 100% right, but it looks decent, right? It looks like C-Top tried his best, and he may not be the best, but he tries, damn it, and that's something we can all respect him for. Why am I talking about myself in third? I don't know. It's weird. I'm going to stop doing that now. If you don't mind. Then just trying to wrap it around a little bit more. Trying to give it a little bit more uh, depth to the tower rather than just a flat blackness. Want a lot of vertical lines. I mean, it's a big tower. You're going to have a lot of those cool vertical lines. And then we're taking these pieces that are independent of the building. Just so we can position them in a slightly different manner. Uh, it's kind of annoying to do, especially when you have a lot of them. But we only have four here. I just wanted to give it a little bit more depth to that lip. Because we didn't really have any good curved pieces like that. You know what I'm saying? You're picking up what I'm laying down? And don't mind the discoloration right now. It's just because we have the building selected. And we don't have those selected. So that's why it looks a little bit different. Adding some more of our cool little wing spike things. All throughout there. And then, what was the trend to here? Oh, I was trying to find a nice floor piece to use here. So, okay, we'll just go back and use these cast floor pieces because I brought that out anyway to a square point so we don't even need to match the roundness it's all good I'm like okay at this point it's starting to look good right we had a little bit of a rough start where things weren't weren't coming out too well but I think it's pretty good looking so far I like it a lot and it's more interest pieces there look at that it's cool I'm super proud of this actually <laughs> it's not super highly detailed but it's highly detailed enough that the illusion is complete and these guys were uh, kind of kind of a turd to work with because they weren't lined up perfectly with this grid so I kept having to adjust them basically I just wanted uh, two on each side to kind of shape the outside of the eye I'm doing it with my fingers even though you guys can't see me and then some larger flamethrowers because these are the narrow flamethrowers right now so then some larger ones in the center uh, four two on each side to kind of uh, fill in the eye a little bit make sure they're actually in there and you know it's, it's, you can't really make round fire in this game, believe it or not. But overall, I think it came out pretty cool looking. I think it's good. Uh, pretty decent. It's not going to win any awards, but I like it. Look at that. They got the Eye of Sauron right next to Mount Doom. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Came out pretty cool looking. Adding some details down here with the rocks and stuff. And we are going to somewhat use this building. It's not just a tower. Well, we kind of just extend off of it. And use it <laughs> in kind of a cheeky little dumb way but so we're just gonna take this I, I'm being lazy and just trying to copy and paste stuff move it out move it on out and at some point we go and we put that in there welcome to Sa Sa Sauron sandwiches <laughs> oh it's so dumb so we have this giant evil tower and it's a sandwich shop <laughs> With some nice little bench chairs and trash cans, and there you go. Sauron sandwiches. Pretty cool, right? I like it. <laughs> it's kind of dumb, but also kind of fun. Add in our little fire pits all through right here. There you go. Just some nice little pieces. Looking alright. Something I thought about while doing this is I didn't want to get too highly detailed while doing this part. Because it is supposed to be like a barren wasteland, so we don't actually have any other structures in this park. I'm sure there were some buildings of some port, some type in actual Mordor, but uh, this is the only actual structure we're going to have in here. Uh, we do put a bathroom and a um, first aid tent or first aid center, but we just basically cover them in rocks, trying to blend them in the terrain, because uh, I didn't want any other structures in here. Just wanted to go with a fairly bland and flat wasteland, just some rocks and dead trees and lots of fire. So that's the kind of theme we're going with here. And the torches in there, realizing there's too many. And there you go, you have Sauron sandwiches. Go get a sandwich, a Sauron sandwiches. Sandwich. That's delicious. <laughs> uh, and then trying to put a sundial right. Realize I didn't like it over there, so we'll put it over here. I think it's a little cooler looking. And I actually do really like what we do with the terrain over here. So I, I built a path all throughout here. I wanted to enclose it, but I didn't want to build, again, structures or anything going all the way around it. And so we basically just raise up the terrain around it. At some point, presumably. Oh, adding fire. Yes, we need fire. Gotta burn off the little faces of all our guests if we keep putting fire everywhere. It's like the fire we're gonna put on top of Mount Demon. It's probably not gonna be too good because it's gonna burn people's little faces off, but <laughs> as they're coming out of the coaster. But alright, check.
check that out. So we just pulled the ground up around it, so it kind of encloses the line a little bit. The coaster also peeks in and out of it, so that's pretty cool. I think it's nice looking. And then we're just gonna build a nice little fence here out of our gate pieces. Just kind of, I don't know, they're nice. They're cool dark metal looking ironwork, so I think they fit here relatively well. And then I was going a little crazy trying to think of a new lamp or something just to use as our consistent light source around the paths. I was trying something a little different. We took these uh, little stone pieces and some hooks and a sword. I'm like, okay, that looks cool. But it doesn't look cool from both sides. And it's a little bit too busy for me. So we end up just tearing it out and going with a little bit more of a simpler design. So we just do, uh, we do the black metal pull and then some hooks. They're not really hooks, I guess they're just like rings around it. So a lot simpler, about <clears throat> a lot more traditional from what we used to what we normally do with these things but and I do wrap them around the entire path uh, I just did that off camera after I stopped filming I do remember doing that so there you go this is not every time I mess with the terrain I had to repaint it so it's a little irritating just trying to make some nice hills and stuff throughout there should probably add some more fire elements on those hills I think that'd be a cool little visual interest piece yeah so we take those off camera we completely wrap them around and then inside here oh actually first we make these cool little skulls they fit it pretty well and then here I wanted to make it a little bit more epic and stuff, so we're basically just going to push down to the terrain and make it a lot more rough and then just cover it in fire, so uh, we don't have lava or anything, that'd be pretty cool because we could put, like, it would work the same as the water system, you just f f pick the level and then have it fill with lava Oh, that'd be really cool actually to fill that with lava, we don't have that, so we just put a bunch of fire everywhere and some real rough terrain and some explosions, things like that, because it's supposed to be the inside of a volcano and then for some reason those supports were being dumb, so I decided to pull the earth down, make them a little bit less uh, visible, and then just adding some hidden lights all through right here, just to kind of light up the area just a little bit, just a wee bit, nothing too crazy, but I like how it came out, pretty pretty cool looking, fixing the terrain over here that people did point out to me in the last episode. Overall, look at that, I think it's coming out pretty cool looking, water is looking alright. Oh, right. Yeah, so then we got a bathroom and then our medical center. I can never remember. What is the actual name they use in the game? It's, it's not like hospital or like doctor's office. It's medical something. I don't know. But the going is very similar to something we did in our prehistoric peak. It's just kind of wrapping in rocks. But overall, I think Mordor came out pretty cool looking. A lot more simple. The only highly detailed stuff is really the tower. But that's okay. I mean, it's a big empty wasteland. That's going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, leave a donut. I'll see you next time. Bye.